Do you need to potty train your golden doodle? In this video, I'm gonna cover exactly how to make sure your golden doodle has zero accidents. So stay tuned. For the best dog training and product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every week. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I am a certified professional dog trainer and I have helped hundreds and hundreds of pups and their parents live more peaceful lives together. All right, so without further ado, let's get into how to potty train your golden doodle so that you have zero accidents. Step one is to rule out any medical issues. Now I know this might seem really, really obvious, but I have so many clients who say they're having trouble with potty training to later find out their pup has a UTI or some other issue. It's really important you have a clean bill of health before you begin any training plan because even for people, if you have an upset stomach, you also may not be able to make it to the toilet as well so just keep that in mind step two is to prevent all accidents inside this is the most important step out of everything I'm gonna talk about in fact if you only did step two you would probably have a really potty trained pup this is because dogs and puppies are creatures of habit meaning if the habit is going outside you're gonna have a lot more success than if they start to make a habit of going inside. So you're probably wondering how exactly you prevent all accidents from happening inside. I'm glad you asked. The first option is to crate train. So it's important that your crate is just big enough where your pup can fully stand up and turn around. If it's any bigger, they may try to pee on one side of the crate and then sleep on the other. The second option is to attach your pup to you via a leash and carabiner. Now, this is so you can keep a complete eye on your pup and if they start to do a potty walk where they start to stiff around, you can quickly pick them up and take them outside. Now you'll see the only way to really stop your pup from going inside is to one, either keep your eye on them, so you're in the room staring at them or they're attached to you, or using the crate when you can't stare at them. So making sure the crate is the right size. This is truly the key to potty training. Number three is to create a really consistent potty training schedule. If your pup knows that you regularly take them out, they're gonna have trust that they're gonna get to go out Outside soon. This is why having a regular potty training schedule is so important. It's also going to make sure that you're not setting them up for failure. So a small puppy has a very small bladder, meaning that they're probably going to have to go out right after they eat and right after they drink a lot of water, right after they wake up and so on. So this is why having that regular potty training schedule is really going to help because you're going to be able to get ahead of them and really allow them the opportunity to go outside before they can't hold it any longer. Keep in mind that a puppy can hold it for an hour for each month old they are. So if your pup is eight weeks, they can hold it for two hours and that's maximum. We don't wanna push them to their maximum and that is a generalization. So a young puppy is going to have to go outside a lot. With a young puppy, I also encourage you to remove water an hour before bedtime so they can hold it overnight or when they're really young, they only have to go out one time overnight. The next step is to reinforce heavily when they do go outside. So when they use the bathroom outside, lots and lots of praise, at least three high quality treats or high value treats that your pup really, really loves. I like to use dehydrated liver or things like that. All right, so that's exactly how you're going to have zero accidents in the house. The only thing I didn't mention is that we are human. So we're probably going to accidentally not keep our eye on our pup for even one second or something like that. And accidents can happen. Now I've gotten way better at this, but I do this as a career. So it's a little bit different. Um, so keep in mind, you may accidentally not stare at your pup for a moment or someone texts you, you get distracted and then they have an accident. So if this does happen, my bonus tip is to not punish your pup for having an accident. What can happen is number one, too much time may have passed between when they use the bathroom and when you're punishing them. So they're just gonna be scared of you because they're not gonna know why they're being punished. Number two, maybe they do realize they're being punished for using the bathroom inside. Well, now what they've learned is that it's scary to use the bathroom in front of you. So they're gonna try to hide, whether it's in the closet where you'll find a nice poop in the closet or maybe a pee behind the couch or using the bathroom when you're not home. So I definitely don't encourage you to do this. Also, what can happen is when they're outside and you're there, they won't wanna use the bathroom because they're scared to use the bathroom in front of you. What you should do instead is if you catch your pup in the moment, you can quickly pick them up and direct them to using the bathroom outside and then really reward that. That's only if you catch them in the act of it though. If you didn't see them do it, then 
kind of lost your opportunity at that point and it's a lesson for you to pay attention a little bit more or leverage their crate. Now, if your pup does have an accident, make sure you use an enzyme cleaner like Nature's Miracle. That's really gonna help get the pheromones out as well in addition to the odor and the smell. One more tip, if your pup just isn't using the bathroom outside when you take them out, instead of just bringing them back in and having them just do whatever and then pee in the house, if they don't use the bathroom outside and you waited about five or 10 minutes, put them back in their crate and then try again in 10 minutes. Keep doing that until they use the bathroom outside. All right, so that's it for today, everyone. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also leave me a comment saying the word helpful if you found this video helpful. I also do have a free on-demand webinar called the five biggest training mistakes pup parents make and how to avoid them so that you can live a more peaceful life with your pup. It's on demand so you can watch it on your time and you can sign up for free in the link below. All right. Thanks everyone. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.